Hi, I'm Sonia Intuitive Empress. This is a collective reading, tarot reading. Don't try and force a crown to fit. It might belong to a different king or queen and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So only take a reason to leave the rest for someone else and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. So I hope that you are having a great holiday break and that you are getting much needed rest and recovery probably the, the, the day after or whatever, you know, recovery, blah, 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 you know, anyway. Let's see what we have for you now. It's going to be a great year, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, it definitely is a great year because we have the new cycle. Like, this is a new cycle here. Like, you're starting something new. This is amazing. Oh, but it looks like there's someone who's rushing in here. They have sleepless nights and, you know, anxiety. They can't sleep at night. They want to rush in and have a new cycle with you. Or, they want to stop you from having your new cycle. Uh, looks like this person's in the cold. They're feeling a little bit abandoned. Look at them outside this church. And they've got, like, they've lost hope or something, you know. So it's like, they're rushing in now. They want to say that they want to put in the work. So they want to put some work in. And, but it looks like they're still wounded. So you, you've probably been wounded by this person. Or they've wounded you, vice versa, and all that stuff. It looks like this person could be the distant past... Um, somebody that was focused on money they could be Virgo Taurus Capricorn they don't need to be though but they could be overly focused on money and sort of like all about the materialism or well, this could be you even so you could be a masculine energy somebody that is grounded somebody that is a father figure or boss energy someone that could be a, a business owner so it looks like you're definitely healing you're doing some healing going with it and healing possibly from this person but it could be because this person was breadcrumbing. They weren't giving equally. It looks like they were all about the money. And they just were giving bits and pieces of crumbs. Crummy crumbs crumbs. So this is like the recent past. You're bossed up to this empress. This empress is like the most beautiful queen in the deck. This person, you know, feminine energy. And bodies all the queens of the deck. And so abundant. This is the epitome of the feminine energy. This person can give birth to new ideas, give birth to babies and, you know, puppies or something. <laughs> so this, oh, there is some sort of karmic situation. Somebody has rejected an offer. Someone has rejected a beautiful empress and it looks like they were juggling. Maybe they couldn't make a decision. They keep going over and over, so they rejected a beautiful gift. This is a beautiful empress. That has been rejected. So it's the cycle. It's like cyclic. Over and over this person, you know, juggling and can't decide what they're going to do. Gee. So they've rejected a beautiful empress. So this is your thought. You're having to choose what to do. Looks like you have some decisions to make. This is like stuck at a crossroads. Oh, looks like someone would like to have a reunion. Someone would like to come together and work together. But there is somebody that stayed stuck at a crossroads. So you're thinking maybe that you would like to work on your business. It could be a new job, some sort of new opportunity that you're doing. And it's like celebrations as well. But somebody here is stuck. Someone needs to make some decisions and smell the roses. Take off that blindfold and, you know, make a decision. So this is your future here. This is an ending, so it's a new beginning. This is also Scorpio energy. It looks like you're going into Karma Waters. It looks like you're going for a trip over water even. And things are starting to balance out now. So judgment. So you've got judgment. So it's like... <clears throat> so it's like, you know, rewards coming in. And this is also like... This is about your rewards. Your ships coming in. You're looking out there surveying and watching your thing, ships coming in. So someone else is having... A, this is also... Someone else could be getting judgment. So someone could be feeling judged for some sort of situation, but it's an ending. So it's a new beginning. So you're moving into calm waters and it's some rewards as well. Rewards are coming in for you. So this is your thoughts, your, your fears. Your fears are that you can't heal. So you're kind of like having a difficult time healing. So you're kind of like fearing that maybe it's going to take forever or something like that. But you are, looks like you're slowly methodically healing and it's like, you you know, like taking time out to heal, rest and recovery. 
And it's also you're focusing on your work. And look at this. So you're going from the 8 to the 9. So you're going for getting financially stable. This is independent. This is working on your craft and actually, you know, really kind of focusing on it. So you're fearing that you can't heal. But it looks like you're just focusing on your work and focusing on yourself. It looks like you are healing because you're very abundant and very independent here. So how others see you is, this is wish fulfillment. So others see you as getting wish fulfillment that you're so happy on your own. You know, this is another independent sort of energy. But it looks like also that you've got a lot of options. So you're having options, but you're also going to need to make some decisions. So you've got so many options that you need to make some choices. You're at a crossroads and you've got wish fulfillment coming in. So you're getting all your cups filled. But just be careful what you're choosing because this person looks like they're in a daydream down there. So wake up a bit. <laughs> so this is like your hopes here. Oh, it's like you're hoping for heartbreak for some reason. Oh, so it looks like you've experienced some heartbreak. So you hope you can heal from this heartbreak because there's some deception, trickery, theory, lie, cheat, steal it type of thing. So it looks like you're getting very, um, you're, you're, gonna, you're becoming very defensive. So you're standing there, you're kind of surrounded by your wands and you're ready to, to fight back. So there's definitely someone that's hurt you, broken your heart. Possibly there's been some sort of third party, third party situation that didn't want to come out properly. So it's like third party situation could be anything else like job, pets. I don't know, like family, your friends and all that stuff. So it could be something else that got in the way of the connection. So not necessarily another person. So the outcome is judgment. So this is definitely some sort of judgment. We have double judgment. The future has judgment. So the outcome is judgment. So as well, so this is actually, the horn's getting blown. There's two horns that are getting blown. So it's like, you know, this is also can be a reunion situation. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. We have the Divine Feminine and the Masculine, look at this, and like moving forward, moving forward, and like a new cycle. Wow, look at that. This this Masculine is somebody that embodies all the kings of the deck, just like the Feminine, but it's like union. This is like, you've bossed up into this Feminine energy, and now it's like this person's coming in to have a new cycle with you. Wow, look at that, that's so cool. Very happy for you, how exciting. Your divine counterpart match, these people are very powerful people. This, they can build an empire and they can make any sort of um, things happen. So very happy for you. Bye.